guys come in? Good morning, sir. Good morning. 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 Good Explain, explain without giving an example. Right. Define it. Sir, Internet of Things means uh, various devices which are connected to the Internet and they interact seamlessly so that helps us in the transition from the virtual world uh, to the real world. They integrate both to them. What is the purpose? Sir, the purpose is that it makes our lives a lot more easier and uh, the Internet can be used to customize it to uh, fulfill necessities of our lives. So it is only to make our life easier or for some other bigger purpose? Sir, if we take the example of smart cities also. So there also are, there are uh, certain proposals that uh, if a sensor for instance is put into a garbage dumping uh, bin and when the when it gets full then the message is automatically sent. It sends a message that I am ready to be empty. empty. Yes. What is green IT? Sir, I am not aware of the terms. What is digital India program? Sir, it's a program uh, by the government of India to make uh, uh, India more uh, paperless mm -hmm. and uh, to uh, transform India into a knowledge economy. Good. So what is the work being done under this program? Sir, uh, one is that uh, there is no emphasis on providing more broadband Second is digital literacy it should be given to uh, all the citizens of India. Third is uh, we need to improve the jobs in the IT sector. Then we need to reduce uh, the electronic. What is the main work being done at present under this program? Sir, at present uh, uh, we are aiming towards using the digital uh, the, the digital infrastructure for, for instance, uh, cashless transactions. That's so one. We have already thing. started cashless transactions. Sir, yeah, under Digital India, Digital India, even the infrastructure is not laid. So, what is the work being done under the program at the moment? Sir, uh, I can remember a national uh, fiber optics network that's uh, being carried out now. You know. What is that? Sir, uh, it lays down a network and provides broadband connection to many villages. Broadband connection? Yes, sir. It is meant only for laying the optical fiber. Unless the optical fiber is laid, how will you provide connection? Then you will need electricity, then you will need uh, computers, yes. then you will need computer literacy. Yes. So, BharatNet is primarily for laying the infrastructure, that is, for laying the, 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 the optical fiber. Yes. So, where is it being laid, this optical fiber? Which areas? Sir, uh, entire India is being cut, but uh, the focus is on uh, 2.5 lakh uh, uh, You should have said that right in the beginning. That is a real focus. Yes. So how much work has been done? Sir, I am not aware of the progress made, sir. Okay. What is 5G? 4G, 5G, what is 5G? Sir, 5G is an evolution uh, over and above the fourth generation. Uh, the fourth generation limits the speeds to nearly 300 Mbps, but uh, 5G aims to do uh, much more beyond that and it aims to target speeds up to uh, 1000 Mbps. Okay. And uh, have you heard of share single case? Yes, sir. Please tell me what is the importance of this case? So the case was about uh, when the Supreme Court heard uh, the constitutional validity of section 66A of the Information Technology Act. So it was observed that the, the uh, section, the particular section was imposing too much of restrictions on the freedom of uh, uh, expression speech. and speech. Why, what, what was found offensive in this section? Sir, the section had uh, certain uh, uh, words which were very ambiguous. Uh, it uh, restricted speech uh, under the... Do you idea what those words were, which were found unconstitutional? Uh, sir, the grounds were uh, all the grounds that have been mentioned in uh, section 19, uh, uh, the article 19 
theory of the constraint motion, which lays down restrictions. Uh, there were two expressions in there: grossly offensive and statements of menacing character. Okay, so thank you. <coughs> what are the salient features of the Right to Information Act? Sir, uh, firstly, uh, all the public authorities should uh, assume or to disclose uh, uh, information to the public. Secondly, there will be a public information officer to whom a request can be made uh, seeking information. He will have to respond within 30 days. If the response doesn't come or if the uh, liar is not satisfied, then he may go for an appeal with the uh, appellate authority and uh, he will then have to be given the, the information. Now, the, uh Objective of the RTA Act was obviously to bring in transparency yes. and accountability into governance. Yes. Do you think that this is being met? Sir, in my opinion, uh, definitely we have seen that RTI has been used now. Uh, RTI has in fact become a work. So everybody, there are many RTI activists who are applying RTI. And uh, because of RTI, we have seen many scams being unearthed. UD scam or Vyabam scam. Did you, uh, are you familiar with the controversy in the papers yes, about certain proposed changes in the RTA Act? Uh, one of them is that uh, in case a person who files an RTI goes and appeal before the Central Information Commission and uh, he dies in between, yes, then the uh, appeal should be treated as now, the protagonist of the RTI are very much against it. Yes. What is your view on this? Sir, uh, my opinion is also similar because uh, I feel that uh, uh, this could act as uh, uh, victimizing the RTI activists and even leading to loss of their lives. Because once their lives are lost, then uh, the, their RTI application is deemed. Uh, but wouldn't that same logic apply if that is the case, then uh, short of uh, killing a person? The interested party may try to, uh, to you know, to uh, victimize him or uh, put the fear of God in him, and yes, then sir. also he can withdraw. Then what happens? That is all. That possibility is always there. Yes, sir. So how does this uh, amendment change anything? That's what I am saying. Sir, I am not uh, very much aware about the other aspects of the yes. amendment, but uh, I think, uh, for instance, in the whistleblower protection act. Yes. So if uh, the person is being victimized, he should have an affiliate authority where he can go and uh, uh, Correct, tell. he should, right. Yes. Now, uh, what is the role of the Central Information Commission in this RTI architecture? So the Central Information Commission being the apex, uh, uh, the final appeal can go to Central Information Commissioner, who in turn can uh, ask uh, the other uh, subordinate authorities to disclose the information. Good. Now, uh, uh, have you heard of the Panama Papers? Yes. Sir. What are these Panama Papers? Sir, they were with regard to uh, certain uh, incomes being stashed abroad, and uh, uh, the Panama Papers disclosed that uh, it was very huge in number. What is the status of the investigation in India? Any idea? No, sir, I am not aware. What about the what are the impact of the same papers on the Pakistani Prime Minister? He was held up before the Supreme Court of Pakistan? Sir, I am unable to recollect. Okay. okay, right. Now, uh, for the appointment of the OPA, yes. according to the Act, yes. there is a five member committee. Yes. Who are the constituents of this committee? Sir, to select the uh, OPA? Sir, it is the Prime Minister, yes. uh, leader of opposition in the Lok Sabha, uh, leader of uh, uh, the Speaker of the Lok Sabha, and Chief Justice of India. And then Right. Now, the, this, the appointment is being delayed. Yes. The Supreme Court recently had something to say on this issue. Yes. What was this? Sir, Supreme Court was of the view that uh, just because uh, that uh, the opposition, the leader of the opposition is not uh, recognized in the present assembly, yeah. that should not uh, hold back the appointment of uh, the local Okay. Thank you. Yes, sir. What is the meaning of this name? Sir, uh, it originates from Kriti, which means uh, a new creation, a new birth. Okay. Uh, 2012, you passed out your graduation, isn't yes, it? Sir. 
after that, that is doing the job or? No sir, after that uh, I am mostly preparing for civil services. And for the past 8 months, uh, near to Mysore, there is a village called uh, Dasan Bhopi. I am teaching a few children from the village uh, English. Uh, otherwise, mostly I am preparing for civil service. From your district, Hassan or Bangalore? Uh, no sir, Mysore. Why you want to join civil services? Sir, uh, when I was a small child, my father was working in Jilla Panchayat. He used to take me to his office on uh, occasions like Republic Day and Independence Day. Okay. So there, uh, a person used to come and hoist the flag. I always felt that uh, I should be this person, whoever is hoisting the flag. And uh, later on, I discovered it was the district collector. And during my graduation, when I up more about it. I found suppose, that. Suppose uh, the local MLA and uh, ministers are coming now regularly. So you would like to be MLA and uh, <coughs> minister? Sir, uh, that point of Nowadays, time. mostly the ministers and uh, local uh, MPs or MLA, they are doing mostly this. Hardly they are. Uh, so just because of that, you are influenced, or there is some other reason? Sir, uh, that was there in my mind that I wanted to buy some flag. When I, uh, uh, when I was in my graduation, I... Now that they allow the flag at home, you can do it there at your home also. Yes, <laughs> Okay, that should not be reason to join civil service. Okay. Uh, preamble of the Constitution. Public administration is your subject, is yes. it? Yes, What is this preamble of the Constitution? What do you, you know, what does it mean? Sir, uh, preamble is like a preface to the constitution. Okay. It uh, tells uh, what our forefathers uh, ideology was when they were preparing the constitution. Now, it don't say forefathers, it's the constitution makers. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. Okay. Huh? So, uh, their ideology <coughs> and what they give more importance to, and it's like a summary of the constitution. Summary. This is the constitution. Something was added after the 42nd amendment. Yes, sir. What happened? Sir, uh, terms, integrity, and uh, huh? sec integrity. Integrity, and then? Uh, secularism was uh, added. Secular and? Socialism. Socialism. Why? Why? I thought we know what was the necessity. Is, it, uh, is our constitution not secular as well? Yes, provisions sir. Provisions are not there? Uh, technically, provisions are there, sir. But the uh, only thing the amendment made it was, it made it more explicit. More explicit. Yes, sir. More explicit. Okay. What do you mean by democratic decentralization? Sir. And name two amendments which made those democratic decentralization uh, really working in the field. Sir, democratic decentralization means uh, devolving the power to the grassroots communities. Very good. Uh, so that they can uh, take responsibility of their own development. And the two amendments uh, that strengthened and gave constitutional status to them were uh, the 73rd and the 74th constitutional amendments of uh, 1993. And what are some provisions, important provisions of 77th and 74th amendment? Can you say? Yes, sir. Uh, firstly, it uh, mandated that uh, the three tier panchayat should be set up in uh, all the uh, districts. And uh, secondly, that uh, uh, in every state, a state election commission should be set up, which would be responsible for conducting elections to these. Thirdly, a state finance commission should be set up, which will look into uh, the sound finances of the panchayats. And third, uh, fourthly, uh, anybody who is uh, 21 years of age and above can contest in the elections. Representation of women? Yes, sir. Uh, it, uh, it held that uh, women, uh, it left it to the states to provide the reservation to the women. Uh, more about more more than 33 percent. So 33 percent they are bound into. Yes, sir. About that is, that is a part of this amendment. Yes, sir. That's provision. Yeah? And then you know the empowerment of Gamso. I don't forget that. Yes, sir. No, Gamso have been given constitutional powers. Yes, sir. Mm. Namami Gange. Yes, sir. Mm? Please tell me about Namami Gange. What is this scheme? How important it is? What are the components of this game? Sir, uh, Namami Gange uh, mission is a mission mode program that is launched to clean uh, the river Ganga and to ensure uh, uh, that uh, there is uh, 
in a flow in the river. So this has been a successful program to the previous programs. And uh, this program also is important because it has given uh, allocation of 20,000 crore over the next five years, which is nearly 10 times what was given in the previous schemes. Secondly, Namami Gange is also different in a way that it has recognized the role of uh, the grassroots institutions uh, to be played and the participation of people in cleaning Ganga. What are the components? So the components include uh, construction of uh, sewage uh, treatment plants, effluent treatment plants, uh, beautification of guards. It involves uh, uh, the river uh, base, uh, the composition that is conserved in the species uh, in the river basin. So I am not able to refer to And the open dedication to the corridor, the yes. corridor. Yes. Mm -hmm. The yes. 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 and the and awareness, yes. 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 That is soft part, but also important part. Okay. Uttarakhand High Court gave some judgment about Ganga and Yamuna. Yes, sir. Sir, it gave uh, Ganga and Yamuna legal status. So they will uh, be they can consider as living, as, what? as living entities. As living entities. Yes. So, who will represent Ganga and Yamuna in case there is some case? Yes, sir. Who will represent? Sir, uh, they will be represented by uh, Attorney General on behalf of the government. No, they have uh, no, they three, three persons. Okay, three sir. persons. Uh, three persons. Chief Secretary, okay, Attorney General, and Director of the Namaste. Uh, Tell the gentleman may appear, but these three persons have to contest in this case. Thank you. You are interested in pet keeping. Yes, ma'am. What pets do you have at home? No, I have cats. Your cats? Yes. And you wanted to give me something about animal ethics and animal assisted therapy. What do you mean by this? Mama. Animal, uh, in animal ethics, I read about uh, various issue, ethical issues concerning animals, like uh, vegetarianism, drug trials on animals, uh, stray dogs in SM substance. In animal assisted therapy, it is uh, using animals to aid human beings to overcome certain illness. This is very widely used to deal with uh, children with autism or a uh, woman who has undergone sexual trauma or people, or, uh, in, people who are in prison. Uh, with them, uh, animals are used to allow them to have their companionship and overcome their trauma. Okay. You must be aware of Jali Kattu. Yes, sir. The Supreme Court had banned it, yes, but uh, through a bill, they allowed it in uh, Chennai yes, and neighboring areas. So, what are your views on Jali Kattu? Ma'am, I feel uh, because Jali Kattu is a very integral part of the Tamil culture right since the Sangam age, it has to be allowed, but definitely not under the uh, garb of, under the garb of culture, violation of animal rights cannot be allowed. For instance, there have been reports that uh, the bulls are being poked, some irritant substances are being rubbed onto their faces. They are being inebriated. All these amounts to blatant violation of their rights. So uh, we need to consider all these, and there must be strict regulations given protected. Uh, if their rights are protected. Okay, and in Kerala, there's a menace of stray dogs which we keep reading about. Yes, ma'am. So, what do you have to say about that? Yes, ma'am. Uh, I think uh, the stray dogs they have become a success, uh, a, a victim of their own success. They have. What uh, do you mean by that? Victim of their own success. That means they keep biting and they are allowed to live. No, ma'am. By that I mean that uh, they have been able to breed extremely fast. Sir. So, mm -hmm. in their uh, success in reproduction, they have become the victims now. So, uh, under Prevention of uh, Cruelty to Animals Act, uh, it imposes a duty of the municipality to sterilize the stray dogs so that they don't overpopulate an area. And when there is overpopulation, only then there is a uh, uh, fight for food or uh, fighting of children, all that happens. So, they have a duty imposed. But so as basically, you are blaming the municipality. Ma'am, partly yes, because they have not been very promptly uh, doing the sterilization camps. Okay, another topic. Since you are with, uh, dealing with computers, you must be aware of net neutrality. Yes. What is net neutrality? Uh, net neutrality means that uh, every packet over the internet, whether it is data or voice, audio, video, anything must be treated uh, equally irrespective of its uh, source. And what are the disadvantages of using the net? 
and you think of it, we have a lot of advantages. Yes. But there are also some disadvantages to the net. Yes. Can you mention some? Ma'am, uh, firstly, because of the internet, we have been diverging a lot about ourselves. Mm -hmm. So a lot of our personal information is out there on the internet. So that can uh, lead to privacy concerns. Secondly, online platforms like uh, uh, Twitter, uh, Skype, we are being used uh, by uh, right, uh, to, radicalize. to radicalize. So this is another concern. Anything else? Ma'am, I can also think of uh, Identity theft, or bank card, or frauds, or type pornography. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Yes. What are the economic challenges facing the country today? Mention a few of the important ones. Sir, uh, one is uh, the agrarian districts. Uh, second is. Uh, second is uh, the. In level of priority. Yes. Most important one even in the past. So first is agrarian distress. Second is uh, uh, regional inequality in the country. And uh, third is... Uh, so I'm not able to think of it. Something is happening on the financial sector? Yes, sir. Uh, so the non-performing assets have been mounting in the public sector banks. So that's the cause of concern as well. This you will place it on number three or you would like to raise it to number one? Sir, so I will place it at three. At three, okay. Uh, how serious is this problem? Sir, uh, uh, it has been estimated that nearly 14% of uh, the uh, uh, total lending of the banks is uh, categorized as non performing assets. So, definitely, it is a very serious problem. Recently, Government has gone in for an ordinance. Yes, sir. What are the purposes behind the ordinance? Sir, uh, can I take a moment? Sir? Yeah, sure. Uh, government has gone in for an ordinance. Yes, sir. What are the needs for that? Sir, uh, the need for that? Sir, I'm unable to recall the. Okay, uh -huh. the <coughs> but mention about the problem and. Uh, the crux of the problem, what is it? Sir, I, I was able to recollect about that amendment. Okay. And, uh, it gave more powers to the RBI to ask the banks right. to uh, classify and categorize strictly the non-performing assets. And uh, uh, one more provision I don't know. Okay, then. Now, number one problem you mentioned is agrarian stress. Right? Yes. Tell something about that. Why you consider it to be? Sir, uh, because on the one hand, uh, uh, nearly 50% of our population is in the farming sector and uh, they have been facing crop losses. Their incomes are stagnating and agricultural production too is stagnating. Secondly, added to their distress is the uh, uh, climatic anomalies, uh, El Nino and uh, hailstorms, uh, unseasonal rains. So all of that together is uh, leading to many farm suicides. And it is also a cause of concern because India has many malnourished population and it is also a threat to our food security. Recently, the government of UP announced farm loan waiver. Yes. Right? So, what is your take on that? <coughs> Given this kind of problem, do you think it is justified? Sir, in the short term, it definitely is justified because uh, a state has an obligation to prevent uh, its own citizens from losing their lives. But if we see in the long term, the farming lower uh, labors will not uh, be much of a help to the sector. Firstly, the banks will not be coming forward to lend to the farmers. Then, uh, if they don't lend, the farmers will end up getting into the clutches of money lenders. And also, the investment should be made to make uh, agriculture more diversified in research and development rather than in our Okay, now a different question. Today, India Prime Minister is visiting Sri Lanka. Yes. How important is it? Sir, it is uh, very important. Uh, a few months back, uh, the uh, Sri Lankan Prime Minister too visited India. So such uh, exchange of visits has strengthened our uh, bonding. And uh, it has scope to discuss about some of the uh, uh, very important issues. What are the important issues? Just list out. Sir, one is uh, the fisherman issue in the country. Uh, second is uh, uh, the, our concern towards uh, the Chinese involvement around the Sri Lanka coast. Uh, 
Thirdly, our uh, economic relations have not been going on very well because of domestic politics also. So, uh, allow us to reinvigorate the same. Okay. All right. We close the interview. I will give you a little feedback. Most of the questioning would be based on your budget. Right? Sir, I can use this. Yes, sure, sure. So, since you are a computer science student, I started asking about IoT, green IT, digital media. I think you should strengthen your knowledge. IoT was correct, green IT is the whole range of activity, including designing, manufacturing, usage, and waste disposal in the field of IT should be environment friendly. Both in the case of hardware as well as software. That is called green IT. The name itself denotes that IT must be green. Must be environment. Digital India, the biggest uh, initiative is the uh, this, uh, this is called Bharat Net now. Yes. And about one lakh, about seven last we heard was seventy six thousand or about eighty thousand village panchayats have been connected. The last date is December two thousand eighteen to complete it. It has already been delayed badly. The question is whether it is working, this digital India. No, it needs more things. It needs uh, power, it needs uh, uh, infrastructure in those places, in the region. It needs computer literacy. It needs uh, leasing uh, uh, laptops, etc. Mm -hmm. at that time. So all these things are required before it can really start moving. What is the computer literacy in our country? Do you know? statistics. 8.8% in the rural areas and 30.2% in the urban areas. It's very poor in the rural areas. So, the program is very ambitious to like 50,000, but then you have to train those people to yes. provide all that infrastructure. Digital. So, 5G is okay, Shreya is okay, broadly, but just check up that, those words which the Supreme Court found in Constitution. Then RTI, how it has improved accountability and transparency in RTI. Panama paper, these are all current issues. Lokpa, Supreme Court has given a direction lately that you need not have a LOP, but you can go ahead and appoint it. In fact, it has given a direction. They don't delay the point started. Why civil service? Your uh, explanation was uh, very involved and don't go into such a long lengthy explanation. It doesn't sound very sincere. It looks like a contrived answer. Yeah. Well prepared. So what you should say so very simply is are the highest services in the country. And it will be my personal achievement if I can make it to any of these services. Because they will provide a, me a, an excellent career, provide me an excellent career, as well as a unique opportunity for public service. Just you cannot hide the fact that you want a good career, which you are not saying, you are only talking about the public service part. So, this is how you can say both things. Right? Preamble of the Constitution, the philosophy of the Constitution is in the preamble that 42nd Amendment, correct? To market and decentralization, you did the right thing. And Mami Gange. And then it has five, six components ODF in all the villages, STPs, you know, and burning hearts, clean up, all those. So just check out. And 20,000 crores have been allocated for this program. Ganga Yamna, living person, it is not Attorney General, it is Advocate General. Attorney General is in the center, Advocate General is in the states. Hobbies, you should get a question of hobbies, pet. Now, there is a little contradiction in your statement when you are fond of, it, of pets 
and then when jelly kattum comes, then you say, no, no, it must be done because of the tradition. So it's like hunting with the hounds and running with the hare. That is the attitude you are adopting. You understand? There is a little contradiction. So you should say that the cruelty part must be completely eschewed. Only if, if it is ensured that no cruelty is caused to the animal, to the bulls, then it should be allowed at the direction of you. It should be absolutely forthright. Otherwise they say you are an animal lover. And then you talk of how jelly could to go. You know how, how cruel the game is? Huh? How cruel the game is? They make him run, they make the run, good, uh, run all over. So, you should say very clearly that uh, cruelty to the animal cannot be allowed. But out all the cruelty parts, if it is a harmless sport, it is okay. Then, economic challenges facing the country, you say economic distress. Economic distress, or farmers' distress, is an effect of other problems. What are the problems? Problems is the drought conditions. Uh, that is the biggest challenge which will ruin our economy and our farming. That is the biggest challenge. Second challenge is NPS. These are the two most serious challenges. And third is that we are not growing enough food grains. So we, uh, we must adopt the second green revolution quickly because our population is rising. But our food production is not keeping pace. Only this year they expect 4%, otherwise it was last year 1% or something. So food production must increase, otherwise there will be problems. Why? Then it is leading to distress that you have to have Manrega, you have to have public distribution system. So you must uh, emphasize those points. NPA ordinance is a rapper dam, which is a careful one. It's a little bit of a problem. It's a And what is the Reserve Bank doing after that? Reserve Bank has issued some directions and it has started tightening control over some banks already. So, what is the ordinance? What is the problem? NPS, what is the ordinance? How is it working now? No waiver, even as a short term measure, it is not correct because there is the distress in UP. Which farmer has died in UP? Have you heard of it? So, yes, it's wrong for you to say. If, if they had waived it in Tamil Nadu or Karnataka or Dharma, but in UP, I have not heard of it. But you be the crops are very good this year. So you should, your statement should be about UP that it is bad economics. It creates a bad habit that people take loan that contribute. People who are generally paying, they will feel cheated. So instead they should have, have uh, uh, so now I'm telling you because my job is to tell you what is the right thing. So your job should you should say only those who were really distressed and were not available to pay, they should have been identified. Only no waiver should have been given only for those people, not to everyone. Because after all, the money is coming from the public exchequer. Then Sri Lanka is very important, just check out what India wants. You have said rightly, but you need to be very, very more focused on this. How China has made inroads in Sri Lanka. Amantota, etc., Kurambo, and what India is doing to offset it. And India now wants to have very close economic ties with Sri Lanka. So, in this visit, one of the ties will be that India wants to develop Trikon Mali port, Trikona Mali port. So, and then we want to have strategic oil, uh, reserves, oil reserves there. So, that is another area which we are wanting. So economic ties are important. Then Karnataka, GDP growth, please see, GDP growth, etc. And 
last day, since IRS is your second choice, they may ask you some questions on India's tax policy, etc. What was the tax collection last year? It has exceeded the estimates. Now. What is the tax target this year? What are the provisions about tax in the budget? And keep in touch with us. Uh, you got a When is it? 15. So you got only two to get more. So three days. So read newspapers very carefully. Remember things. Questions what happened in the minister's visit, other things, what is happening in the community. Otherwise, you are doing very well. You have been able to answer most of the questions. But keep up this and build up your own knowledge of these things. Okay? So, the length of the answers will be. Huh? The yes. length of the Ah, absolutely. Your, uh, everything else is your, your body language, your expression, everything is fine. Totally. It's not a more fact, Yes, all the best. Thank you. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. And press the bell icon to never miss an update.